Today I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily uh, diagnose a, a failed nipple cup seal um, or top injector seal and uh, go ahead and get those replaced. Um, if you've made it this far, um, you may have already uh, narrowed your, your hot no start or no start issue down to a um, low high pressure oil problem. Um, if not, go ahead and check out my other video on hard or no start troubleshooting on a 6.0 liter or 7.3 liter diesel. Um, if you are getting a uh, hot no start or a no start and you, you know it's an ICP problem, um, you're going to want to evaluate the condition of your oil rail seals. Um, anytime you pull off your oil rail, I would recommend uh, evaluating the state of your nipple cup seals and your top injector seals. Um, we are seeing a lot more failures as uh, the oil rails start to age more and more and uh, the injectors age more and more. First thing you're going to look at is your top injector seals. Um, I've got a great video up on YouTube showing um, what you need to look for in terms of uh, top injector seal damage on uh, with the injector still in the engine. But this is what you're looking at um, outside of the engine. This is what you're going to see. This here is a, a brand new seal. You know, it's got nice smooth edges. Um, looks like an O-ring should. Um, this one here has been started to eat down from the top down by the, the nipple cup seal above it. Um, this is what you're going to see. You're gonna, it's going to look rough and sanded. Um, and that's from the high pressure oil shooting down onto it from above at the nipple cup O-ring. And eventually you're going to get a complete failure like this. It's going to find the weakest point and it's just going to start uh, making that point weaker and weaker. And so if you see a rough edge and uh, one part that's smaller than the other, or even a failure like that, you want to go ahead and replace not only the top injector seal, but uh, the nipple cup seal as well. Um, with damage like that, you might be able to get away with just doing the nipple cup seal, um, but uh, you're kind of in the danger zone there. Anything, anything that bad or less, you want to go ahead and replace them. Um, another easy way to check is to uh, Give your uh, nipples a wiggle. If they move easily, like that, that's a that's a bad nipple cup seal right there. I got these uh, oil rolls at the junkyard, so I could do these videos for you. And uh, luckily, it was a pretty bad specimen, so I could show you um, worst case scenario there. Um, so these these uh, nipple cup seals definitely need to be replaced, um, as well as the top injector seals. Um, a failure like that is going to be your hot no star. You're going to see anywhere from 250 to 312 on your ICP pressure. Um, so we've evaluated that these need to be replaced. Um, you are going to need to decide if you want to go for just the O-rings or you want to go for um, O-rings and ball tube kits. If money's no object and you got uh, a time a time problem, go ahead and get the kit from Boss Tech. It comes with the nipple cup and the O-rings. Um, most of the ball tubes I'm seeing, even these really bad ones in this junkyard one, are salvageable with a little bit of polishing. So um, I do sell uh, upgraded higher Duramito O-rings on eBay. I'll put a link down below in the description. And I also sell the, the tool for getting the, the lock nut out. Um, so you're going to go ahead and uh, buy your O-rings and your tool. Uh, those are the two main things you need. Um, as well as a 23 millimeter socket. I got this one at AutoZone for seven or eight bucks. Um, as far as tools go, I would recommend a, a tool made by H&H &H Diesel. Um, really a top-notch, high-quality tool there. Um, made out of hardened uh, 4140 uh, chromoly steel. Um, really a more robust and solid design all around. And the, the best thing about it is uh, that once it's engaged with the, the socket, you know it's not going anywhere. You know you got a firm engagement. Whereas uh, with the, the Boss Tech tool, it kind of, kind of slides down in there. Um, if it slides down in there too far, you're not sure if it's down all the way. Um, if you're going to use the Boss Tech tool, use a, uh, definitely use a short well socket. So that's what you need. Um, as far as nipple cups go, once you get them out, uh, you're going to be looking for any kind of uh, grooving. Um, this one actually has 200,000 miles on it, and it's in perfectly good shape. Um, that one you could get by without doing any polishing at all. This is one out of these junkyard oil rails, 
and you can see grooving up here at the top of the nipple where the top injector seal is and then right below the median point of the ball there is where the the nipple cup o-ring sits and there is some minor minor discoloration and lines there too so anything like that you want to go ahead and polish your nipple cup um, it's pretty easy to do with just a dremel tool or a tabletop uh, polishing setup um, check out my other video for full instructions on polishing that up uh, so you got your o-rings first thing you want to do is uh, drop them in some oil clean engine oil get them down in there get them soaking and then uh, you're going to take your impact tool and your socket. And uh, one thing about any tool you get is it, uh, it'll help you to realign the nipples. I like to do it right before I'm about to zip them off and right before I'm about to install the oil rail on the engine. Make it nice and easy on yourself. They're all centered now. Now we just take our tool. Get them all loose. Go ahead and pull off your lock nuts here, pull those out, and then pull your nipple cups out and give them a good once over. Look for any kind of pitting or scratches or discoloration. Um, that one's in pretty good shape. Um, seeing a lot of them could just go right back in without any polishing. Um, but you want to make sure you give them a good once over and polish them if you have any concern at all. That one definitely needs some polishing. So give those a good once over. I'm going to pull out your, your old oil seal and uh, I've seen uh, a few of them where you've actually got like little particles of o-ring um, and they're starting to degrade just like the top injector seal but in a lot of them they'll actually just be deformed you'll see a, a hard edge where it's just formed into the space the cavity where it sits and it's not sealing anymore and it's a uh, kind of hard and smooth and not really sealing anymore um, but those are gonna be replaced go ahead and pull those out And you're going to take a clean shop towel and you want to clean um, all the surfaces inside. Make sure they're nice and clean. You're going to make sure there's no debris in there, um, there's no pits gouging, um, grooves, or, or anything that would keep uh, the seal from sealing. Get those nice and clean. And you're going to want to go ahead and clean up uh, your ball tubes as well. Clean them up, polish them, whatever you need to do. And then you're going to take your new O-rings. And then just go right down in the hole there. They just sit right down in there nice and good. There's no question about where they go or how they should sit. They fit the space like a glove. You got your O-rings in. You want to take your ball tube. I like to give it a little dip down in there. Set it right down onto the O-ring. Make sure your uh, your lock nuts are nice and clean. I'm just gonna go ahead and put them all in. Dip it in oil on the new O-ring. Put it in. Dip it in oil on the new O-ring. Put it in, dip it in oil on the new o-ring, 
and put it in. Once you have them started with your fingers, go ahead and take your tool and just go down to about hand tight just till they start to engage the o-ring. And then uh, I just zip them back on with the, the tool at max. Um, they do bottom out, um, so they're going to get to a point and just stop, and they're not going to move anymore. Um, the recommended uh, torque is 70 ps or 70 pounds per inch or foot pounds. Um, so usually by the time you're all the way torqued down, they stop moving. You're you're up about 100. I've been torquing them down to at least 100 um, because I had some problems with some of my Boss Tech seals, so I, I don't want to take any chances there. But now I'm just using the air tool for everything. Just go till they stop. That's uh, I'm finding that's usually right around 100 foot pounds. And it doesn't hurt to go ahead and double check. Um, if you don't know your um, your impact or you don't know um, how powerful it is, and you want to just double check it, I set mine to eight between 80 and 100 usually, um, and just uh, go in double checking. And they're good. Once you know your impact, you know about where they're going to go, but it never hurts to double check them. Um, so there we have it. Now we've got uh, nice engagement. You know, it moves, but it's not loose. You can feel it engaging the O-ring. So that's what you're looking for. So now your, your oil rail is good to go. Um, you want to go ahead and replace uh, your top injector seals. I've got a video on YouTube on how to do that as well. Um, and videos uh, for other troubleshooting as well.